Hey, welcome back to another uh, Harry Potter Wizards Night video. As you guys could probably tell um, from the video title, I did a thing. So, a bit of a bittersweet one moment as I um, just finished uh, grinding all my red books and then put the um, my last uh, stat node up, or the one that requires red books, so I don't really have to grind for red books ever again until we get new lessons, of course. But uh, yeah, um, I just got my last one, Breath of the Dragons. I, I, I was actually recording, but then the recording was lost, so um, it's it's already unlocked. But uh, anyways, uh, you guys get the point. Uh, just didn't ca tra capture that bittersweet moment. Sweet because obviously we finished up the uh, the stats in in in, in my skill tree. Uh, bitter because I'm always bitter. So uh, anyways, uh, let's let's just go over and um, uh, check out on the expertise um, part here. Expertise. I don't know why they call call this page that. So max out power. Max out precision, max out critical power, um, critical power, which was the last one I needed. Proficiency power maxed out. That was a huge grind, by the way. And max out defense. And we got a few more nodes that still aren't maxed out. We got stamina, protego power, deficiency defense, defense breach, and accuracy. But these are literally worthless nodes. I like. Even if I max them out, literally no difference <laughs> from uh, what's going on right now um, for for my playstyle, right? Um, I don't need any of the other nodes, obviously, because um, stamina, protego power, deficiency, defense, same reason. Um, I play with a professor with maxed out uh, protection charm, which means I don't take damage at all. So stamina, protego power, and deficiency, defense don't make any difference. And defense, breach, and accuracy, because I play with an aura with a maxed out confusion hex. These are worthless skills as well, so uh, I'm just gonna save up red books for until I guess whenever they drop new lessons, which you know this looming <laughs> image always uh, always you know uh, is there to remind us that more lessons will be coming soon, and the grind will continue. But at the moment, we are at a stop. Although I still do have two active skills that I haven't finished yet with the uh, green books, which don't really matter too much honestly I mean it's great to have 10% more on improved revive charm but then again uh, my teammates don't have too much stamina to begin with to actually revive but uh, anyways another brilliant event would 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 uh, would take care of these two and there's one more up here which is the mending charm maximum which I just don't want to spend green books on at all like why why would I why would I want two more stamina ret uh, restored? For for restricted section books, I'm again. I'm saving all that for um, whenever new lessons come out. And no, I'm not going to spend it on professors or auras just because the grind is so incredibly painful. Like at the moment, um, my profession level, not profession level, my challenge rank is at what one uh, hundred thirty three. It's taken me like three three point three k um to get a level up and then at max it's like 3.5k per level and no i'm not gonna spend uh, red books on on other professions at the moment so anyways uh i guess this is a good time just to look back at the skill tree and just you know uh check out some some things that i probably should have done uh or in terms of the order right uh instead and just some mistakes i probably made and other stuff like that so right so anyways um, at the beginning of skill tree, I made a, um, I guess, a, a, a bit of a mistake by actually just focusing too much on the stamina because even though, like, it's really cheap stamina, which you should still pick up if you're a Magiologist, right? And, you know, if you don't have 100, if you don't have 100% defense yet, which most Magiologists will, uh, get, um, you know, uh, actually relatively uh, soon, assuming they play with a, uh, professor as well. A decent a little professor and you really don't need 100% defense like even like 95% is still like really great uh, or 80% is still really great um, but yeah some of these stamina nodes I should have waited like it's these the cheap stamina again it's really really cheap stamina and it's so it's not bad to have but like it's just good for 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 you know when you haven't had have max defense yet so before at uh, the time period um, between getting max defense and not having max defense uh, you know the stamina nodes are are good unlocks again some of these like only cost like one red books and like you know it's gonna be tough uh, if if you don't have max defense 
or 100 percent defense and you're just going through chambers with like just scroll uh, a scroll unlock staminas so again some of these you could pick up but i would just focus on the more important stuff first so in terms of scrolls scroll skills really don't matter scrolls are so easy to grind um you know if you just start in the game it might seem difficult but trust me a month later like all the scroll skills you know should be easily unlocked um in terms of some other stuff um power is just so incredibly important uh, i actually invested uh, some red books into defense before i went into power which is a total mistake. I, you know, I, I should have just went for power at the beginning, and then defense is a is also good to have, but it's not as a priority as as power. I think we only have like have one or two defense nodes that require red books anyway, so it's not that big of a trip uh, up uh, as well. Again, um, another big L. Wait, does does this no? This doesn't cost um, uh, any red books. Another big L was was uh, completing these these six was it like six or five or f yeah these five nodes these last two proficiency powers these are expensive i think it was like one was like 31 red books the other was like 33 and then it had like a 25 or something these are incredibly expensive incredibly inefficient <laughs> and i'm not saying don't get these because you know eventually you should uh grab these uh proficiency powers right but just pick up the uh, the the more uh, the more efficient ones um, on top before you get to these. These should be like your last, you know, um, in terms of all your offensive skills, right? Um, so yeah, the, these these are good nodes. These are very very good nodes, but terribly, you know, cost ineffective. Is that a word? Cost ineffective <laughs> uh, in terms of your red book investment. So uh, aside from that. Um, uh, again, again, just focus on power first, because power is just so good. Does this cost, I don't think this costs red books, um, but yeah, power is super important. And then again, uh, if you're playing a group, proficiency power is the second most important uh, one here. Even if you don't play in a group, proficiency power is still really, really good to get. Uh, but if you do play solo, uh, I guess you could pick up some uh, better crit power. Uh, and precision nodes before that, right? Uh, you don't act, you don't have to go for a lot of these proficiency uh, power stuff. Which, again, the, these down here are incredibly expensive, right? Um, these two are actually pretty expensive as well. Like one's twenty one, one's twenty five, and then like I think your last precision node is like twenty or something. I can't really remember. But uh, yeah, uh, do take these. Um, one few things, uh, or, or not one few things, that doesn't make sense. A few things that I thought um, I, I did pretty well on and, and I thought was a good pickup was the defense notes were good pickups, um, honestly. Uh, the defense notes were better pickups than the staminas. Uh, so if I were, you know, someone who still hasn't completed this yet, I would just invest uh, red books, or no, I don't think this one needed any red books. I think this one needed red books, right? Um, I, I'd invest some red books into defense before, before the stamina stuff. Uh, defense is incredibly powerful, especially in, in, in late game. Um, in comparison to stamina, it's just, you know. Uh, again, there are some really good value staminas up there. But defense overall is just a great investment. Um, also, um, just, uh, again, proficiency power is just so great. And one other thing, um, you know, when speaking of inefficient nodes, I'm looking at these two nodes down here. Uh, I didn't actually pick up the uh, the really uh, cheap um, uh, precision nodes up here. Well, relatively cheap in comparison to like the monsters down there and the crit powers. So I probably should have uh, picked up these two uh, before I uh, went down for the proficiency power ones. Like, I can't even remember why I did. Oh yeah, I, I just wanted to get the big ones out of the way. It's, it's just a habit of mine, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you, if you want to just make it just better because while you're while you're still completing your skill tree, you know you still want to actually make your skill tree a bit, you know, your stats a bit stronger, so it makes farming red books easier. So um, that's why you should probably go for more cost-efficient stats um, before going for the really inefficient ones down here. Um, these four down here are really inefficient. 
um, and then like obviously the the ones usually the general wool is the higher the the ones near the top are, are the more efficient ones again I did make a, um, a video talking about this I break down every single stat uh, in comparison to you know um, per you know, uh, per stats um, or, or stats per book uh, I, I have a series of videos on on my channel um, for each profession um, uh, separately so you know you can check that out to find the most uh, cost-efficient ones but yeah again my biggest mistake was going for these <laughs> these two or, or yeah the, these five I guess um, so early but uh, it did feel really good to get those done but uh, anyways yeah that's really it gonna be it for this one just a quick overview of my um, basically maxed out stats again it's not like completely maxed out just because I just don't have like power and Protego power, efficiency defense, defense breach, and accuracy max out. But then again, as I said before, these are basically useless stats um, to me. So like, I would be literally wasting red books for like literally nothing <laughs> if I were to go for those. But uh, yeah, um, there we go. We got uh, all the all these stats maxed out. Just need again just one more brilliant event to to max out these uh, these two, which I would still have like a few more left over to unlock this which i won't do <laughs> but uh yeah just one more brilliant event which we're not getting this month hopefully we get one next month uh to actually finish up my active skills as well and voila manager will just we're done for the moment being until we get some more new lessons so anyways that's me for this one hope you guys enjoy it let me know uh you know uh how you guys are progressing in terms of your uh, skill trees and stuff and uh, yeah, uh, again, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it like you did. Um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.